and I'm going to have my wife Jessa share a dream that she had. And I'm going to tell you what God's been speaking to me about. And I believe it's the key that's going to release the greatest miracle anointing for the church. Jessa. So a couple of nights ago, I had a dream where Oral Roberts was speaking to Todd. They were, I, I didn't understand what they're saying, but I remember they were talking. And then he looked over and he saw me and he stopped. And he ran over to me and he put his hands over my eyes and he said, what do you see? And so I looked and I didn't see anything at first. And then all of a sudden I saw this elephant racing across my eye. And Oral Roberts said, he put his, his hands over my eyes and said, what do you see? And I said, I didn't see anything at first, and then all of a sudden I saw this elephant racing across my eyes, and it was, it was dancing, it was going crazy, it was just, it had this big smile, and it was just, just going crazy, and I said, it's a, a wild elephant, I see a wild elephant, and then I said, what's, what's with the elephant? He said, exactly, what is it with the elephant? And then I looked again, and in in that vision what was highlighted was the trunk of the elephant I said it's the elephant nose and he said yes and I said it's discernment and he said exactly and then he says do you see the lion and I closed my eyes again and then I saw the lion and the lion it was just a golden lion and I woke up and um, when I woke up literally I woke up in the middle of the night and I just felt like the Lord was highlighting things to me about the dream and in the dream I thought it was pretty ironic that Oral Roberts put his hands he covered my eyes and said what do you see and I thought that was interesting because he's covering my eyes what do you see and I felt like the Lord was saying that that even more so now for the church today we need to walk by faith and not by sight what do you see you know I didn't see anything at first until I really looked and I pressed in you know and I saw the wild elephant and so when the elephant came running in and I said what is it with it so it's almost like what's with walking by faith how do you walk by faith and not by sight by discerning the times and the seasons just like the sons of Ishkar discerning that's what gives you hope when you're walking through a hard time and you're you know walk by faith when everything around you looks dark and dim is discerning the times and season by getting a hope from God um, whew, getting <laughs> Getting a hope from God <laughs> to be able to see, to discern the times and the seasons that's ahead of you. <laughs> and the thing about the elephant, it wasn't just an ordinary elephant, it was a wild elephant, a wild elephant. It was radical, 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 radical. <laughs> wow. And the elephant means a great impact. And I really felt like what happened in Lakeland was just a beginning, it was just an introductory, it was just an introduction, just a table of content of what's to come. And I felt like the great impact is greater, greater, greater. It's the great impact and the greatest impact that you can have is bringing the kingdom of God to earth. It's a gift of an encounter of Jesus Christ to every single person. That's the greatest impact we can have. The great impact is the great revival. It's the great harvest. Whew, and it's going to be wild. Wild. It's going to be much greater than it was before. Much greater. And the next thing, the last thing about the dream is once, once we as a church pray for revival and seek revival that it becomes a lifestyle just like Tom was saying a lifestyle not just something we contend for we want but a lifestyle that we live in a culture of revival then boldness is released upon the church and that was the lion when he said do you see the lion because we need the wild elephant first before we can get the lion and then that's where the boldness of the church is released oh. Shika. My wife's got some wild fire. 